Hello, and welcome to the beach. This is the corner of 7th Avenue and Ocean Boulevard. And as you can see, it's a construction site. This specific site, which is oceanfront to the beginning of the boardwalk. This is where the boardwalk begins here. This specific piece of land is a good case study in commercial real estate in Myrtle Beach. This site here, prime real estate, right? Right on the ocean, was home to the Chesterfield Hotel. Chesterfield Hotel, a very luxurious hotel in its time and its prime that stood right here. It was on the Registry of Historic Places. Very significant hotel. Not, oh. All right, we get your point car, your car, we get it. Anyway, it was on the Registry of Historic Places very fancy hotel until of course it was torn down and what do you think they built in place of a historic hotel a miniature golf course The Shark Attack miniature golf course was right here. I'll put a link to that video. I have a complete video of the miniature golf course when it was here, a complete walkthrough, but check this out. When I walked through it, it was abandoned. Just think about that for a second. So this miniature golf course closed down and was just left. Like I said, the miniature golf course failed and was left empty. So the walkthrough that you'll see a video for. All right, Mr. Noisy. The walkthrough that I'll put a link to the video for is actually when it was in its abandoned state. So think this through. Historic hotel, torn down, build a mini golf, the mini golf fails. So what do you do to a failed mini golf on prime real estate? Tear it down. start again and that is what they have done uh, this looks to be like it's going to be commercial space there's an elevator shaft i believe over there i might need to take a better look at that uh, probably more than one story i assume i i honestly don't know if any of you guys and gals out there are savvy to steel construction let me know if this appears to be like a multi-story building Either way, this site is a good example of the history of Myrtle Beach being torn down and replaced and immediately being replaced again. Now, honestly, on paper, the whole idea of the mini golf with, there was a commercial, not a commercial, there was a entertainment venue right about there. Maybe I'll cut in a clip when I was walking around of it. There's an entertainment venue up there. It was like a bar and music could be played up there. There was a stage and it had a view of the ocean behind it. So on paper, it sounds like uh, not a bad investment to have mini golf during the day here and then a commercial venue 
up there for music and uh, drinks. Not a terrible idea. Just the fact they tore down something historic to build that and then it failed is kind of lemon juice in an open wound. I do appreciate that some of the art on the side of this building remains today. Check this out. If you don't know where we are, uh, one block from here, that's Ripley's right down the street and the main drag of the boulevard. Continue down another block and you're at Plyler Park where the sky wheel is located. Those are awesome. They're always rolling around the boulevard. I don't know if they're actually privately owned or if you rent them or what, but they're all over the place, especially in the summertime. And over there, just just to share, that's the Red Hot Shop. That's kind of infamous over the years. If you come to Myrtle Beach and you want a, a katana sword or some size because Raphael is your turtle, that's where you'd buy it. Or an obnoxious t-shirt, always that too. Another tidbit of information I'll share, uh, 7th Avenue and Ocean Boulevard. That corner lot right there used to be a hotel and it's gone. Sea Palms Hotel, actually. Mentioned it in the last video I posted about the local hotels that are suing the city and the county for not evicting tenants that don't pay. I'll probably return to this site in the near future as it develops. I have a hunch it's just going to be some commercial units and random businesses will open up in it. But you never know. It might be different. Maybe there'll be something unique that we can visit together. I will share it with you when the time comes. Now over here, this is in the back of my head. I was thinking, is this an elevator shaft? Alluding to multiple stories? Possibly. I don't know. You guys tell me. It looks like an elevator shaft to me. Anyway. And you can see here, the boulevard has a boardwalk that kind of starts over there about 5th Avenue. And that walkway continues that way until the actual boardwalk begins right over there, you can see the sky wheel in the distance. So, just wanted to share a little tidbit of information about that piece of land that is currently under development. So, if you like that, give it a like. If you want to see other stuff about Myrtle Beach, subscribe, check out the playlist. Lots of goodies. And until next time, everybody, take it easy.